some educational video, maybe on food, diet, health, you know, wealth, relationships, whatever. I'm I'm never really just doing nothing, chilling, being bored. I'm never like that. But um, I just thought of something and I thought, you know what? Instead of me just having this knowledge in my head, why why don't I just pop on the camera and express myself to everyone else? So that's what I'm just doing right now. So um, I can't even remember what I was going to say. That's how bad is that? I'm not going to edit it. I'm not bothered because I'm just going to keep going. Um, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, yeah. If you believe something will work, you'll see opportunities. You'll see opportunities. And if you think something's not going to work, then you're obviously going to see the obstacles. And a, a basic example of this would be, you know, relationships. Relationships. Everyone's been in a relationship. And sometimes you go through hard times or... Sometimes you think, yeah, it's going great. And, you know, one thing is when, when, hmm, as you can see, I've not planned this. I've just popped onto the camera because I thought, let me just do, do it on camera. For example, you and your partner have been discussing maybe moving somewhere, maybe moving to the Caribbean or maybe moving to Spain or maybe moving to a different part in your country and you're not quite sure that you want to move and why would you not be 100% sure that you want to move. It's because you are seeing obstacles in your way. You're seeing reasons why it may not work. Way, ways that may not even exist. You may be thinking of ways of why it cannot work or why it would not work. On the other hand, if you were 100% sure that you were going to be with that person for the rest of your life, you would see all the opportunities. You would be like, okay, I'm leaving university in a few weeks. I don't know if we'll be able to find a job, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because you are committed. You're 100% committed. You see the opportunities. You see the opportunities of how you can grow with that person. You see the opportunities. You see the difference between someone that's sceptical and someone that's a believer. They see the opportunities when the other person sees the obstacles. And, my friend, the reason for that story is a lot of people get online, they find a job online, or they find an opportunity online, and a lot of people fail because they see all the obstacles, the reasons why it can't work, the reason why it won't work. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I don't have enough time. Oh, um, you know, Emmerdale's on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You're finding all the obstacles of why it can't work. You might be in a position right now where, you know, you might be going through a bit of financial difficulties. You might be going through a bad relationship. You might be going through a good relationship and you're seeing all the opportunities. You might be going through, you know, you might have exams coming up. You might be thinking, oh, if I don't make this course, then I won't be able to become a doctor or whatever. You know what I mean? Are you a person that sees opportunities? Are you the person that sees the obstacles? That's what I'm getting at, my friend. Are you an opportunist or are you someone that's sceptical all the time? I just wanted to leave you with that quick message. Are you an opportunist or are you someone that's sceptical? Because if you become more positive, 
rather than negative, then you will see the opportunities, you will see that I need a we, that's why I keep moving up and down, and I'm going to take a we, so add me on Facebook, let's talk, add me, follow me, and I need a we, so I'm going to go, but I'll see you on the next video tomorrow.